Hey guys, what I wanted to talk to you about today is the newest member to my cutting tool family, and that's the Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. The handle of the axe is about 17 and a half inches. The full length of the axe is about 19, uh, actually about 20 and a quarter. I have bigger axes, I have smaller axes. I wanted something right in the middle and this is perfect. The handle came unfinished, so what we're going to do in the progression of this video is we're going to go ahead and sand it down um, very lightly. Then we're going to add some boiled linseed oil to it, maybe a couple coats. Um, and then we're going to take it out and test it out and see what it's got. Just wanted to give you a quick look and a couple specs here to begin with. Came with a phenomenal uh, sheath. Actually more of an axe mask than a sheath, but it's great leather. It's got a nice welt. I like how it comes around the front and works more with the heel of the toe than as opposed to coming around the pole here in the back. Some say that this is heavy and it, it's heavier than the other axes I have that are a little smaller than this, but I do like that. I like the fact that um, it's a heavier head on a smaller handle because it's going to do more work for you. The heavier the axe, the more work it's going to do. Um, hand forged made in Sweden. Another thing I wanted to show you was the grain here. If you can see that okay, the grain is, I would call that a very good grain. The craftsmanship is good. The setting of the axe head, very good. Uh, the edge was workable, but what I did is I just ran a file across it a few times when I got it. I took it through some diamond stones, and then I don't usually strop axes, but I did strop this, being that it's brand new, and sharpen it once, and then just hone it for the rest of its life. Carpenter axe, so you got the little indentation here, so you can choke up on it. You could do some fine shavings. We'll do all of that, guys. Uh, I wanted to show you the throw, just to show you an example of the heavy head. Um, the throw, you can see the head bend down a little bit there, a little bit more than maybe some other axes would, but once again, I like that. I like it, and I'm looking forward to testing out the heaviness of this head. Although I don't think it's that heavy, um, I think maybe the weight has been overestimated, but I have been using axes for a long time. Um, the pole, it has a nice solid pole. I'm not going to hammer too much with it, but it'll probably take a little bit. See the wedging there. Okay guys, so stay tuned and we're going to continue our project here, okay? We'll talk to you in a little bit. Alright guys, so let's take the first step in our uh, little project here. I have some hundred and, what is that, 180 sandpaper that I got from Walmart and we're just gonna give the handle a nice light sanding nothing too big it didn't come with any varnish on it so we don't need to do too much Kind of edge it, even it out a little bit. I really like that this came unfinished. These logos, this Husqvarna logo, and the uh, safety on the other side, I don't know how long those are going to last, but we'll see.
Almost done here, guys. We just want all the spots to really soak in that boiled linseed oil. Alright guys, as far as the sanding, I'm going to go ahead and call that good. Alright guys, so we're all sanded down here. We have our trusty gloves on, we have our boiled linseed oil, so let's go ahead and apply a little bit. And I'm not going to go crazy with it. We are going to put on a couple coats here. We actually don't need too much. Just to make sure we get it all rubbed in. Oh, I could see that already making a color look nice. little spots here. Make this wood nice, make this uh, handle nice and protected there for us. I have another axe that is about due for the same treatment. So down the road, I'm going to make another video for that one. Alright, so we'll be back. I'm going to set this down, let this coat dry, and we'll be back in a few minutes to add the next one.